Hello, my name is Scott Inger, and welcome to your 8th Blender 2.6 tutorial. This will probably be a two-part uh, two tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to uh, texture paint a terrain. But first of all, I, I, I really have, have to recreate a new terrain because I did this tutorial before and it didn't allow me to save it. So let's uh, uh, just let me quickly do this. It'll take me a couple of seconds. Multi fractal. F and B. Let's go scroll in and see what I like. Uh, I think I like that one. And I can change that quickly. Sorry about that, guys. I have to set a timer for for this from now on. If I go over, it's gonna screw everything up. Okay. Oh, that one looked good to me. Actually, not. Yeah, the other one. No. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. Right. Shift A. Play cube. Okay. You can just delete that. Select this. Size 100. Enter. Okay. And this is where we begin our tutorial. So, first of all, I just want to move that. Uh, then I want to click, right click down here. The split area. Change this to UV image editor. Then go into. Actually, I'm gonna save this first. Save as. I'm gonna say this is my world blend. Okay. So now I'm going to tab into edit mode and press U and unwrap. This is going to freeze up for a little while. Okay. So I will probably pause this for right now. Okay, and uh, go to pause it now. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Uh, thank you guys for waiting. Um, let's see. Okay, so now we got our thing over here. We want to create a new image. We're going to uh, title this uh, ground, uh, world underscore texture. Tab. I'm gonna make this 248 by 248 or 2048. And I'm gonna press OK. It's gonna OK. There we go. There's our texture. All ready and ready to go. OK. So before I get into this, we we gotta do a couple of things. OK. We have to go and click on image, save as image. We're gonna save it over that one because that was from the first time I did this tutorial. Okay, so now let's go into textures. Uh, let's get out of object mode. Let's go into textures. Mm, click on the world over there. New. Change that. Actually, before I do that, I want to remove that first. I have to add a material first. Don't know why, but you just have to. So let's add new material over here. Click uh, for the type. You're gonna click on uh, image or movie. You click open and world texture. Open image and coordinate to UV. And for right now, that's all we need. Okay. Let's just control save this for right now. Yes. Okay. I think I'll stop this at 10 minutes. This might be a three part thing. Okay, so now what we want to do, we want to go over here, click on texture paint. Okay, and we're going to want to go into texture. Okay, so now we're going to click on this uh, paintbrush right here, and it's text draw. And I'm going to uh, click new. Image uh, 
uh, image removing, open, and I'm going to open up the textures that are at the bottom of that over here. Uh, first one I want to use is this one, which I always use first. Okay, so textures, grass, and right there. Okay, open image, and now. Ah, uh, uh, I did this last time too. Okay, so let's go into object mode. Select our light. Okay, change it to sun. And change energy up. And now you can see everything. Okay, so now let's click back on here and go into texture paint mode. Okay. It's probably best to do the mountains first, but whatever. I'm just going to do roughly the sides first. Alright. Yeah, you guys can get your textures from wherever you want. You can go out and take pictures in front of your house or behind your house or wherever you live. You can even take textures of the ground or whatever. Uh, you just got to have a PNG file. It has to be PNG or something like a regular uh, texture, like a T, uh, TGA file, which is a uh, Targa file, I believe it is. And this is performing really slowly, but I need to get this done quicker this time than the last time, because I get to teach you some extra um, little, I don't know how to explain it, little. Uh, tips. I have a whole bunch of tips I can teach you guys, and they're really helpful, especially when you're making a world and you don't want it to look crummy. Okay, so you know what? Right now, I'm going to add another texture over here because I need to do this one right now. Uh, this is, I'm going to rename this grass so I know which one it is. Actually, grass, this one, enter. Okay, because I'm going to be using it on the grass. And I'm going to press. New. Open image. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to use the rock image that I have from CG Textures. And there we go. And we're going to rename this one Mountain. There we go. And I'm just going to paint the mountain with this right now. Alright. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible for this. Because I like to get this stuff done quickly. Especially when I'm doing this in one of these tutorials. I have to stop in like a couple of minutes. I may. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop in like four or five minutes. Alright. So, what I wanna do is I wanna quickly, I mean, positively, as quickly as I possibly can, finish this mountain. Okay. I have a majority of this mountain covered. Alright, um, just let me do this one right there. trying to really hear this up. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to have to do this really, really soon. Alright, cover that up so it looks a little bit better. 
even though I know it looks crappy right now because I'm trying to do this quickly as fast as we can but it doesn't have to be as good as it can possibly be because it's just a tutorial you guys can make it as good as you want it to look okay you know what? that's bugging me right there and okay you know what? yeah let's just leave it like that let me go back to my grass for a second clear up this edge right here alright you know what I'm gonna have to do this very soon okay alright alright so you know what I'll be right back guys, okay? Uh, go ahead and watch the next part of this thing in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope to see you guys next time.